So there stood Matthew Arnold and this girl with the cliffs of England crumbling away behind them. And he said to her, <clears throat> try to be true to me and I'll do the same for you, for things are bad all over, etc., etc." When I knew this girl, <clears throat> it's true she had read Sophocles in a fairly good translation and caught that bitter allusion to the sea. But all the time he was talking, she had in mind the notion of what his whiskers would feel like on the back of her neck. She told me later on that after a while she got to looking out at the lights across the channel and felt really sad thinking about all the wine and the enormous beds and blandishments and French and the perfumes. And then she got really angry to have been brought all the way down from London and then be addressed as a sort of mournful cosmic last resort is really tough on a girl. And she was pretty. Anyway, she watched him pace the room, finger his watch chain, and seemed to sweat a bit. And then she said one or two unprintable things. But he mustn't judge her by that. What I mean to say is she, she's really all right. I still see her once in a while. She always treats me right. We have a drink, and I give her a good time. And Perhaps it's a year before I see her again, but there she is. Growing to fat, but uh, dependable as they come. And sometimes I bring her a bottle of wheat de moor. <laughs>